Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing our first road book and I say we because obviously I'm in the car but I have Mrs Project Moto ADV and we have this and we're at the oily rag. I don't know if you can see out the back there. We're at the oily rag and we're at the start of it. So we'll keep you updated as we go along and see how we get on. But we've got our first waypoints. We've figured out how to reset the trip meter and everything and we're good to go. Are we good to go? We're good to go. Right. See you later. So we've made it 10 kilometers in and we haven't got divorced yet. Almost. Very good. We've done our first waypoint. We're so excited. And we've got about two kilometers between the two waypoints. So we're having a little, little relax now. It's all a bit stressful at the start, um, but we've got the hang of it now, I think. We can both read a map. So I think we'll be all right. And um, we should stay married. <laughs> okay, we are uh, 64 kilometers in. Um, almost heading towards waypoint 11. I think it's all going quite well. It'll... <coughs> oh. It is going very well for somebody that doesn't know their left and right <laughs> and for somebody that struggles with mental arithmetic. It's 600 meters. Oh no, hold on, it's 400 meters. It's one kilometer, but minus 400. What was that, 0.4? Oh, it's 40 meters. Oh, we're here. I don't, I don't quite know what's going. Oh, hello, we're gonna crash. Um, yeah. I think it's going really well. It's going very well. So we've only got about 10 kilometers left to go, but I think it's going very well. Hello, we're back. Uh, we finished the first one. Um, we are at the HR4K Cafe, and it's a Monday morning. So um, like the other one, it's closed, so we can't stop for a coffee. So we're going straight into the next one. Uh, the first one took us an hour and 35. So we're quite happy with that. We've got no speeding penalties. Very happy with that. And we made- No, no waypoint penalties. We made all the waypoints as well. So all good. So we're just about to download the next map uh, that's going to take us into Wales. And um, yeah, we'll see you on the way. No real arguments. It was all quite good, actually. But this time, we're going to swap around. So Mrs. Project Moto is going to drive and I'm going to be the nav. So we'll see how this one goes. So we're on route. We've got a little tablet and we're following our waypoints. We've got two kilometres between the last one and the next one. So we've got a couple of minutes. Um, however, wife isn't so good on metres. So we're measuring everything in swimming pools. So obviously 200 meters is eight swimming pools and that's how we're doing it. So uh, the five, if there's five kilometers between each waypoint, I think we're gonna to struggle to count how many swimming pools that is, but um, uh, it's, it's, going, it's going pretty well. We've done one waypoint. And <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it's fun anyway. We're having fun, aren't we? We're having fun. We're having a lot of fun. And now I know how many lengths yeah, and we're we're not getting divorced, are we? No. No, are you sure? Yeah, not yet. Are you sure? Yeah. Right. Well, see you in a bit. Bye. Our next waypoint is this railway line, so we can check our distance on that. Which is good. How's it going so far? It's going well. <laughs> not divorced again. We're not divorced again. I think uh, that's the outcome. It's the desired outcome. Yeah. So according to the trip meter, that railway is one swimming pool away, and that looks about right. Yeah. I reckon. <laughs> now we've established that we're doing it in 25 meter pools, not 50 meter pools. Can we ask Granny Moto to reset the, calibrate the distances to swimming pool distances? No, it's either kilometers or miles. I'm really Five sorry. Five swimming pools. I'm really <laughs> sorry. No, point. no, it's hard enough to uh, do it without. But, uh, anyway, yeah, we're on the way and uh, we're looking good so far, we hope. Although, um, through the country lanes, um, Mrs. Project Moto ADV got a little bit excited and went a little bit Colin McRae. <laughs> <laughs> speed limit, speed limit. But but we're all safe and um, we are obeying the rules of the highway. So yeah, right, see you later, bye. Hello, we are on the third road book today of the Tri Cafe Challenge. So we've done Oily Rag to H4, what is it, H4K? H2 or something. H4, yeah, and then on to Baffle House. Baffle House was really nice, we had a bit of lunch there and a drink and it was all very nice. Um, quite a cool little, um, not museum, but they've got a load of old bikes there. Today they had a thousand CBX there with lovely, all the six pipes coming out the front of it, lovely. Anyway, uh, we're on the third rally. Um, Mrs. Project Moto ADV, who's behind the camera, did the second route and I navigated and that all went fairly well. Apart from two little speeding offences <laughs> that someone got caught on. Ah! 
I haven't had one of those yet, so fingers crossed I, that, I keep that that way. Um, so yeah, we're on the third one. We've got about an hour of sunlight left, and that should be when we get back to the oily rag. Um, it's been a fun day. Um, seen some lovely parts of Wales that we would never have seen before. Um, been through a couple of housing estates that we would never have seen and probably would never will again, but that was all good fun too. Uh, keeps it interesting. And a lot of varied roads. Uh, not very many A roads, lots of little uh, small roads with grass down the middle and um, yeah through a lot of sort of um, farmland and stuff it's all been quite interesting roads but all, all good hey so uh, we got delayed there was a flood and the river seven had flooded so we had a 40 minute detour which was a bit of a pain anyway we got all the waypoints we finished the whole thing and now we're on the way back and it's snowing it's snowing hi we're back again uh, we're on our way home we spent three lovely days in the Cotswolds. We stayed at some lovely places. We ate some amazing food. And we spent the day doing the Tri Cafe Challenge, which I thought was good fun. What did you think? Yeah, I did actually enjoy it. I was quite surprised. I did enjoy it. Um, I think it was a lot for uh, one day. I think that maybe breaking it up over two days might be better, doing two on one and one on the other. Um, and then you could have stayed somewhere else as well. But you know, I got two days, three days in the Cotswolds and some nice pub lunches and dinners out of it. So Yeah, uh, doing them yeah. all in one day was a bit tricky because um, there's obviously not much light. It's, it's January this time of year. Um, I think it's a bit a good thing to do if you are going, for example, on a walking holiday and you get a wet day or yeah. you get a day where you're tired or whatever. It's just something to do with the car. And if you can arrange it around a nice restaurant or pub or whatever, you know, all the better. So I really enjoyed it. The next thing I'm going to be doing is the Adventure Rally Raid in the Cotswolds. And that'll be on my motorbike. So next week, this time next week, that video will be coming out. So stay tuned for that. So bye from me. Bye from me. Can I cut it now? Yeah. No. Nope. Not gonna talk. You're refusing. I'm gonna talk to you. You're refusing? I don't, I don't wanna talk to you now. Are you sure it wasn't left back there? I don't know, you've got the thing.